What's up, YouTube? It's TS Gameplay. So today I was playing some uh, Call of Duty 5, World at War, and I had this team deathmatch on Revolution, and I was using the Type 100. So, you know, you guys know Black Ops is like three weeks away or whatever, and I just felt like playing, you know, a game that was, you know, also made by Treyarch. You know, just wanted to, you know, get back in the feel. You know, Modern Warfare 2 is dead to me, and I don't know, you know, COD 4 is sweet, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's it still just feels too similar to, you know, Modern Warfare 2 to me. I just, I really can't get into it right now. But, I've had this game, uh, you know, for quite a while. It's been uh, sitting in my entertainment stand. Uh, just basically collecting dust. I haven't really, you know, felt a reason to play it at all, but, you know, it was like a couple days ago, and I said, what the hell, get online, you know, see if there's anything going on. I was actually kind of surprised, uh, at any given time, you know, from what I can notice on the Xbox, there was at least, you know, still twenty five to 30,000 people online, and that's pretty good, you know, I don't know how old it is exactly now, I know it's got to be almost, you know, coming up on, you know, three years, but, you know, I think that's pretty good. So, as I said, uh, using the Type 100 here, this is actually the first uh, Call of Duty game I ever played online. I had never even played Modern Warfare, I don't, I don't know why, I just had never even played it. Uh, beginning of October, made a year since I got my Xbox 360, and, and actually one of my buddies, they were playing this game, you know, online over at their house and uh, I was just like oh I gotta get it and I went out and picked up a copy and you know I liked it but you know because I came into the game so late you know it was at least you know I'd been out for months and months you know by the time I picked it up and you know I was a noob you know I'd never played you know a Call of Duty period I'd never played one online and I was just getting destroyed you know the best I could ever really expect to do was you know just to go about even and you know, it didn't hold my attention for very long. So, you know, I'd switch back and forth between, you know, like this game and, you know, Halo 3. And, you know, I don't think I ever even made it to the first prestige in this game. And, you know, that's how little I actually played it. You know, it just wasn't, couldn't really get into it. So while I was switching between this and Halo 3, uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2 came out. You know, I picked that up and, you know, I just couldn't put the game down, you know, back when it was you know, still tolerable. So, you know, I played that for about six months, you know, played, God, you know, just a ridiculous amount of hours on Modern Warfare 2, and, you know, a lot of that transfers back to this game, you know, even though they're made by different companies, you know, different companies developed them, um, you know, it's basically the same damn game, you know, I mean, you got different guns, you got different maps, it's, it's, it's still Call of Duty, you know, you can aim down the sights, and, you know, there's sniper rifles, there's machine guns, there's submachine guns, it's it's Call of Duty. But, you know, using everything I learned from Modern Warfare 2, I can I can do a lot better, you know, than I could have ever expected to before. Um in this game I ended up going, you know, twenty nine and two and you know, I just laughed because, you know, I was just having a good time with it, you know, I mean Modern Warfare 2, you know, I kind of cared about my stats, you know, you know, not really, you know, it didn't really matter, I just, you know, liked having a good time, you know, trying to, you know, get a good video, you know, once I started putting up YouTube videos, just wanted to, you know, have a good time and, you know, try to, you know, make videos where I just made good decisions and, you know, I think I really did that on this one. Um, on this map here, you know, as you can see, you know, I got this little area I'm just running back and forth between and you know I'm staying you know as high up in the map as I can and you know that's what I really try to do on any map and any game that's you know online it's a first person shooter it's just I don't know for me it's just natural and you know probably it's from you know most people it's just natural you know to want to be above everybody else to you know just be able to you know I don't know it just feels like you can plan stuff better you guys know what I'm saying you know leave a comment you know the strategy, you know, it works for me, you know, stay up high and, you know, do laps of the map. 
You know, as you can see back at the beginning of the map, or beginning of the map, wow. Beginning of the uh, match here, you know, I started over on this side. You know, I died once, but, you know, still, I'm, I'm just doing a giant circle. You know, the first opportunity, again, you know, right here, I'm, I want to get back upstairs. I love that. The grenade was like three feet away, but, you know, the magical desk just stops the shrapnel. So I've already gotten dogs once here. Um, I'm in a, I'm in a six kill streak. You know I need a, you know just one more kill to get dogs again. And that's another thing I'm uh, kind of excited about Black Ops, seeing that the dogs are, you know I think they're the 11 kill streak, which you know I hate when somebody on the opposing team you know calls them dogs in this game. You know I'm I'm really curious to see. Uh, you know how they changed them. You know, do they make them you know faster? What I mean, what do they do? What do they? You know, are they stronger? Do they stay longer? Are there more of them? You know, how does it work? Because you know, I haven't seen too much on the kill streaks, but you know, last time I checked, it was you know at the bottom of the list is you know one of the highest kill streaks you can get for Black Ops. So I don't know. If, you know, if it's otherwise, leave a comment. You know, let me know. As you can see here, you know, I started out when I respawned back with a, you know, Type 99, and, you know, along the way I picked up an STG-44 with an aperture sight, and an uh, MP-40 with, I don't know what it would be on this, was it extended mags? I don't know, but, and, you know, I just stay up here in this upper area like I was telling you guys, and, you know, I'm letting my dogs do a lot of work for me right now, I think I just, uh, I think I'm on a ten, like a 10 kill streak right now, but I don't know, guys. If you guys still got you know World at War, you know throw it in. Cause I'm having a blast with it. You know more fun than I've ever had before. But yeah, guys, I know I've rambled a lot this uh, commentary, but you know it's like 1 a.m. You know, I've been up for you know probably 20 hours now and. I just really need some rest, so please like the video. Um, you know, I'm gonna be playing some more of this in the next few days. You know, probably you know focus on this and maybe some more Halo Reach up until Black Ops comes out. Um, I've got it pre-ordered, so you know expect that. You know, the tenth of next month, the ninth, whenever the hell it's released. And like I said, just please like the video. I'd really appreciate it. You know, help me out, help my channel grow, and. Yeah, guys, uh, have a nice day.